بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد احبتي في الله when we look around at the groups and sects and groups like al qaeda and groups like daesh or isil or isis or whatever they like to refer themselves to we find that the people foremost in denouncing them is the salafiyun is ahl sunnati wal jamaa taking the forefront and denouncing terrorism and being in the forefront and denouncing extremism and being in the forefront of denouncing extremist activities and ideolo- and ideologies and ideologues and being formal foremost and in the forefront in denouncing extremist behavior and extremist ideologies and those things which are foreign to Islam ahabbat fillah the ulama of ahl sunnah speak in this time are united in denouncing the wickedness and the deviance of groups like ISIL with their deviant leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi and his distortion of Islamic principles so it's imperative for you and I to carry that message to the people to speak about this as much as possible always have it in the face of the youth or you should not be alienated and not should should not fall prey to the wickedness of corrupt ideologies and corrupt deviant groups who portray the image of being the muslimin of rectifying the commission co- the community and rectifying the world community but in fact they are the most wicked of the people as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam des- described the khawarij al khawarij kilab an nar the khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if they were around if i were alive when these people would arise i would fight them they and kill them the killing of ad ahabbat fil ladis let us know that it's severe deviance that we're dealing with this type of extremism that no one can accept as a human being except those their wicked predecessors we have to denounce it and we find that their ideology and their activities have more in concept with their theory of war with communist japanese kamikazes japanese samurais and others who took their own lives where islam forbids that completely however these people believe it's okay for a woman to strap herself with bombs and go in a crowd of people at a nightclub or go to such and such activity uh where people are congregating or at the workplace or at this place or at that place public uh places and kill people wa iyadan billah min haulai and their deviance ahabbatullah what do the salafi scholars say about this and what is the position in the mouqif ahl sunnah what is the position of ahl sunnah regarding this type of deviance sheikh sali oh sheikh abdul aziz ali sheikh Hafizullah Ta'ala, the Mufti of Saudi Arabia. Now, he said ISIS and Al-Qaeda are the arch enemies of Islam. He referred to them as arch enemies. Sheikh Saleh bin Fozan, Hafizullah Ta'ala said, they deserve to be fought and killed to prevent their evil. Sheikh Abdul Masih Al-Abad, Hafizullah Ta'ala said, it is not permissible to call ISIS the Islamic State. Sheikh Rabi Al-Madkhali Hafizullah Ta'ala said these crimes are not surprising coming from a misguided group that declares as apostates the people of tawhid and the sunnah Ibn Umar I believe it was radiyallahu ta'ala or Umar bin al-Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala he said about the Khawarij he said yaqtuluna ahla iman wa yutrakuna ahla uthan that they they kill and they fight the people Uh, of iman meaning the muslims meaning the people of tawhid and sunnah 
And they lead the people of the, the idolaters, the pagans. We don't advocate fighting and killing and slaughtering and terror of anyone. We invite people to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in accordance with the Madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah and at the Rasihim. It's the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. We know these people are the dogs of the hellfire. So what is it for us to do? How do we convey this to the youth? Because people from all over the world are being affected by this ideology and by these ideologues and risking their wealth, their property, their families to join deviants, to be called to the Dajjal, to be called to the people of Ahl nar the Khawarij, the Kilab al nar the dogs of the hellfire. The people who the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned that they would pass through the religion as an arrow passes through its prey. And some of the ulama of the past, they said that that means they're not Muslim. So they made a hukum on the Khawarij to be uh, disbelievers. Ahabatifillah, the point being, learn your religion. Adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and call the people to the madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that wasn't correct was from myself and the Shaitan. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.